So yeah, basically all you need to do is just buy one um, bag of wood over there and then just, you know, chop or you can find a small one is already chopped and just put it right here and then you can just, you know, burn, burn it. This is perfect for like a wild camping and stuff, as you can see. Um, so the bottom, the bottom side, you know, like it's pretty much like there's no uh, fire has touched the ground really. And um, yeah, so I'm really happy with this and I hope that this um, will do me a great job. And uh, I'm thinking about going, you know, do more campings and stuff. So um, hopefully um, this will will um, get me some barbecue done. And I just want to let you know that I just got the, I just got this top. I don't know what to call it. This top, like that's my family. And um, yeah, they're saying hi. So basically, so I just pulled this. Hello. <laughs> so I got this one from the shop. You can see it's about 180. So even on the beach, and there's no place to to pitch and anything. But um, I can see I, I bought like um, the wind fence uh, from the shop. That was like 15 pounds. And then I used that as a pole instead of putting the fence to, um, for the winds and stuff. And I got that like about two two years ago, and it still works perfectly fine. And um, yeah, so, and because basically you need two poles, which is height, and you need about five around it. So I don't, I have only four, or six around it. So I have only five wooden poles in order to um, to to maintain um, the tops like perfectly fine. So you can see, even though there's strong winds and stuff, it wouldn't bother you and anything. So that's it. We're very, very strong. You can use that as a shelter, camping or whatever. And even though you do well camping and stuff, you know, like this is what exactly people in Cambodia is do, doing, has been doing. And I've been doing this like in Cambodia since I was a child. So yeah, I, I, this is a great, great thing to do, especially like here, you know, you have to, you have a bit of, you have a bit of better equipment really. But um, the thing that I like to show you is because I ran out of one pole, so I used the grass to pull it, and then it's really tight too. So yeah, generally, this is great. You can see, you've got a bit of shelter instead of getting really um, out on the beach or like in the rains or anything. And uh, you always have a, a shelter. And go back to my, um, um, Affordable barbecue Euro hike, and yeah, I'm gonna put this right here. And yep, that's it. That should be my 